In John chapter 15, verse 16, Jesus was talking about being chosen. He said, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. And whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Being chosen is like a warm, fuzzy feeling. Got people running around saying, I'm a chosen one. I'm a chosen one. Have you ever heard that before? Probably not. If you're claiming to be a chosen one, it's not all roses and sunshine. It's not easy. It's not the easy path. We're talking hardship, aggravation, mockery, jealousy, hatred, cruel intentions, rebuke from your friends, denial, and the list goes on. What I'm trying to say is that as a chosen one, if you know that God has put his finger on your life and you're walking in your daily struggle, you're carrying your own cross, you're working out your own salvation with fear and trembling before God. Some of these words might be foreign to some of you. You might be saying, what on earth is she talking about? And I'm sure that I'm talking to believers and non-believers. But the time is short. If God has put his finger on your life, you will know. If he's pulling on your heartstrings and saying, hey, put that cigarette down. Stop cussing at your wife. Stop yelling at the kids. Think about what I'm saying. If the car doesn't run and you're outside screaming at it because it won't get fixed and you're kicking the tires, is it going to get done? I'm not saying being chosen is an easy path. Those might be little petty things. The line in the fast food restaurant's too long and you're not getting your food fast enough because the kids are screaming. Or your wife is mad because you ran out of money and your job doesn't pay you enough. Or vice versa. If, it, if you're a man and you're upset because nothing goes your way. Your wife is never happy. Your girlfriend is never happy. The bills don't get paid. And you're like, this life of a chosen one really stinks. It'll be okay. Take a deep breath and remember what God said. Ask through his name. Jesus said it. Ask through his name. And whatever you might ask, his father will answer you. He will send angels to minister to you. Being a chosen one is not easy.